Come on, man. Come on. Y'all just don't know how excited that makes me feel. I have this dream, and the dream is going to happen soon, y'all. Hey, Homestead family. Welcome back to our channel. So today's video is going to be a little bit different. I'm not going to be actually working, but I want to talk to y'all about some future plans that I have on the homestead. So I'm going to bring y'all along with me as I walk on this property to show you my plan. All right, Homestead family, so this section of the property is pretty much just the open field. We haven't done anything with it, and as you see, the grass is quite tall. We got stickers and all kind of pokey things out here, but the ultimate plan for out here is, you know, I want to build a barn dominium in that section right here where those cluttered trees are right there. And I also want to put some sheep out here in this pasture and actually rotate them on down that way so we could start raising sheep and selling sheep for meat to the consumers. That is one of my goals I want to do out here. I also want to plan on getting chickens. I told you that a long time ago, <laughs> but that is still in the plans to get some chickens. And I do want to raise meat birds. And as well as some of them to produce eggs. I do want the horses to be moved out in this section right here, uh, just to get it away from the front part of the property. I wanna put a barn out here, that way they are in a nice shelter and not our reclaimed wood shelter. Even though that's working for now, we plan to get a nicer barn in that area and I'm ready for it. As long as our subscribers continue to come and continue to watch, we will be able to do things like that. Our property, as you know, goes all the way back. Let me see if I can zoom. It goes all the way back to, let me see where my hand is. There we go. <laughs> to that tree right there. I'm not going to walk all the way back there because y'all see how, how tall the grass is. We did end up keeping a few trees out here. I don't know how many we are going to be able to save in that area, but we can always plant some. Trees are always being sold, so we have that opportunity to buy some great trees and plant them out here. Um, I do want to clear this section out a little bit more. Not a whole bunch more because it holds down from people throwing trash over here. They do throw trash on the road at least once a week, which is stupid, but they do do that. And I don't understand why people throw trash out here when they can just burn it, especially if you live in a country like this. But who knows why? Like I said, stupid people do stupid things. But I do want to clear off more of that section. I want a pond to be dug out back there. We are in the process of getting a farm number. So our hands, our homestead will be converted into our hands, our homestead farms pretty soon. They had to redraw the property due to this property being one before they sold it. The barn dominium is gonna be pretty much only on solar. And with the USDA's help, we will actually be able to dig a well out here. That way we'll, we will not be hooked up to city water and we don't have to run a bunch of plumbing from the road to way out here. We don't have to buy any more electricity poles to put out here because we will be strictly on solar. That is the ultimate goal. I don't know if you're anything like me, you want to be solely dependable on your property I think this world is coming to the I think this world is coming to 
where you have to know somebody to know somebody or be that person to produce meat and food for yourself and friends and family members in order to survive. The way this economy is going up, Pretty soon, we're not going to be able to afford anything. And if you have property or you know somebody that has property, property, get with them because you are going to need them in the long run. With that being said, too, I want to tell y'all, you do not need five acres, 10 acres, 30 acres to be able to produce food on your own. If you have a backyard, you can grow stuff. Try it. You can grow up instead of wide. Also, if you have an acre, you can do so much with that acre. I do plan to, to get a high tunnel, and my high tunnel is probably going to be put, I don't know if I'm going to cut some of these trees down and put it in this area. I really don't want it towards the road, because y'all know how people are. And then I was thinking about, because the house is going to be here, I was thinking about putting my high tunnel either, I don't know if I want to do it further back there, or like in this area right here i'm not sure and i gotta check with the rights of this line if if the rights of this line if i can put it under this line i will probably do so but i'm not 100 percent sure yet i know all y'all got y'all y'all words about this this electric line out here and i understand it it could be dangerous and I understand y'all are looking out for us and we have looked out for us too and done our research on it and we are safe y'all we are safe I promise y'all we are safe we're not in any danger so <clears throat> let me get out of these weeds for something walk up on me I don't know where I stopped at, but like I was saying, if you have an acre of land, a half acre of land, you can develop so much stuff on that acre or half an acre. You can do anything you want to do. And I'm going to start putting more information on this channel about that so I can help y'all out because I know some of y'all are wanting to do the same thing that we're doing, but you don't think you have enough land or you don't think you have enough room to be able to do the same thing. And you do. You might not have enough property to have some horses or cows or goats or, you know, stuff like that. But you have enough property to grow your own food. And you need to just start. You have to start somewhere because you looking at me all the time and you looking at other YouTubers growing their crops and their vegetables and their fruits and their herbs and you know, canning their food, getting ready for the winter time for their family is not helping you. It's, it's helping you gain knowledge, but it's not helping you survive. So you have to do it yourself. Start somewhere. Start growing you some herbs. That way you have your spices and your seasoning and all that for your food. And then start growing you some vegetables. It's going to be it's going to be cold. So I encourage you all to do one thing. Those of you that are interested in gardening, I encourage y'all to do one thing. Go on Amazon. Go to your local tractor supply, Home Depot, Lowe's. I don't know if she, I'm not sure if Lowe's has seeds, but whoever sells seeds in your area, buy some lettuce, buy some greens, buy something that doesn't grow crazy. Get you a big old pot or a spot in your ground at your house or in your backyard or wherever and plant it you're gonna be so amazed and so happy when you see those roots start developing and popping out and being able to cut and cook your own food y'all let me know if y'all do that and y'all let me know how it tastes once they start growing but back to what i was talking about we are going to be a micro farm y'all it has always been a dream of mine to start farming and being able to let our land pay for itself, being able to produce our own food and not have to drive 20 minutes, 30 minutes to the grocery store to get some food when we can actually go to our own piece of property, pick it and eat it. And then pretty soon 
we will be producing our own meat because we're going to have sheep. And then eventually we're going to have cows. And then eventually we're going to have chickens that we are going to have in our deep freezer and eggs that we don't have to go buy from our local grocery store because that, that is something that we will be able to produce ourselves. And y'all don't know how happy that makes me. I am going to be extremely grateful to be able to produce my own food for my family, friends, and any consumers that are wanting to buy from us. We're not going to have to live paycheck to paycheck by trying to build this and trying to build that and pay for our land because our land is going to be paying for itself. And if that is something y'all are interested in, come on, man, come on. Y'all just don't know how excited that makes me feel. Everybody doesn't think like this. And it's, I'm talking to y'all because when I talk to my friends and family members about things like this, it just go over their head because they don't understand. They don't understand it at all. And sometimes my home, sometimes my own household don't understand my thoughts. But I spoke to somebody today. It was actually my mother-in-law. And I was telling her my dreams and my thoughts and my prayers about this property and what I want it to look like in the future. And I'm hoping the future is soon, y'all. And she was like, you can do it. You just follow up on your dreams. Don't let nobody talk you away from doing what you want to do. Don't let nobody try to convince you not to do what you want to do because you can do it. And the crazy thing is my sheep, my birds, meaning my chickens, are only going to be grass fed. They are not going to be grain fed. So I'm actually have to start coming out here and putting some grass seeds out here to make our grass a little bit better because y'all see, we got a lot of weeds. We got a lot of weeds. We got a lot of stickers. We got a lot of mesquite properly, mesquite coming up in certain parts. And we got, look, let me show y'all the mesquite. Do y'all see this? They have been cut down, but they come back up. So we actually need to treat the field also. But I think the only way you can get rid of the mesquite is to dig it up. And we need the proper tools and all that to dig this up. And we don't have that. And Home Depot, if we was to rent it from one of the local rental places, they charge an arm and a leg. And we don't know anybody with those tools to dig stuff like this up. So if you are interested, if you are interested in donating to help us rent some equipment to dig these mesquites up so we can make our field really nice for our up and coming sheep and chickens, we will appreciate anything that you can donate to us. My cash app will be here and my Venmo. If y'all want to donate to us, even if y'all want to donate to developing our, our property for our animals that are coming soon, y'all. Like, I'm speaking in the near future. I know some people be like, well, in the future, meaning like five years. Like, I'm meaning in the future, like in the next six months or so. This is what I want to happen. And no, we don't have the money right now to do it, but I believe we can do it. So that is something I'm going to be documenting on this channel, the development of the field out here and getting our field ready for our meat animals. And look, I ain't even going to say field, getting our mini, getting our micro farm together for our mini Getting our micro farm together for our animals that are going to be here soon. And we can start developing this micro farm, getting it ready, getting our horses in the proper shelter. Oh, my God. I'm going to insert pictures. I ain't even going to tell y'all. Y'all just going to see it when I'm talking about it because, like, I have this dream and the dream is going to happen soon, y'all.
that is all I have to say. I want to thank y'all for taking the time out to watch this video. And I'll see y'all in the next one.